Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video. Welcome to the Bitcoin family channel, guys. For the newcomers, my name is Didi, and I also like Bitcoin to go to the moon. And now at that side there, guys, we have the blue super moon over there. Can you see it? It's that early over here. It's like uh, 10 to 7. We can still see the huge moon over there. And I can already see the sun starting to rise over there. Beautiful moment to do my walk and talk. In today's video, yes, we will be talking about the Bitcoin price, a couple of charts, also giving you a trading tip. Yes, again, a travel tip and talking about the news and maybe again about something that comes up to my mind. I uh, hope you really like this new structured videos because uh, people want to have more information than just a beautiful thumbnail with a mouth open and saying, yes, we are going up or we are going down. I want to give a little bit more value to the videos. So that's why I'm doing these walk and talks nowadays, guys. Uh, enjoy the beautiful, beautiful super moon over there, guys. Bitcoin to the moon. This is an amazing view. I'm gonna walk towards the sun over there because then the shadow is always behind me and I love to have, leave the shadows behind me guys. I'm more on the sunny side of life. I love to enjoy all the positive things but I will come back to that later instead of all the dark things that are in the past are always behind you following you. Now the first thing we're gonna talk about this time is the charts guys. Let's jump quickly into those charts. Bam. Today, guys, I have three amazing charts for you. This is the first chart. This is the short-term chart, guys. This is like a four-hour chart. And we can see the Bam Bam indicator. Yes, I took that long over there. You can see the green thing. And I exited already that long again when I uh, saw that red uh, signal there on the chart, guys. Now I'm waiting. I'm waiting what the market is going to do. Is the market going to test that yellow stepping line over there? and uh, does that red area again turn green then i will do and open another long if that is going to break the yellow stepping line uh, then you could be doing a short but to take a short also the market start needs to start to be blue uh, there down low on the bottom the white line needs to point downward so for me i'm waiting for the next long. i'm waiting for a confirmation of a, a of a, a support at the yellow stepping line and then again a beautiful bitcoin long on the charts and again make some profit over there as you see on this last trade because of the bam bam indicator i made some beautiful profits guys now if we zoom out a little bit then we will go to this chart and that's the best chart now to see in my opinion it's the monthly chart guys you need to focus on the monthly closing because the monthly closing is going to happen in a couple of hours it's the 31st already and when we close the month, then we know exactly where the support was of that month, guys. And at the moment, as you can see very clearly, that support is on the 200 weekly moving average. You can see the red line, and that line is soon going to be crossed by an orange line. And when that orange line is going to cross that red line to the upside, I think we get more bullish again, guys. But we find support on a 200 weekly moving average at the moment at 27,200 ish. Um, that red line is 227,500 ish. So, yes, we have a couple of more hours to go a little bit higher to be able to close that candle again above that 200 weekly moving average. Plus, the beautiful thing then is that we created a body, a small body with a bigger wick on the bottom, which mostly is a beautiful confirmation of the continuation of the bitcoin price to a beautiful higher level again so always zoom out never freak out look at the bigger picture guys and then before we go to the next chart guys i want to remind you that if you use the links down below to sign up to buy bit you can get up to thirty thousand usdt in bonuses after registering depositing and trading so yes you need to register so yes you need to deposit and yes you need to trade a little bit but then the bonus can be up to 30,000 US dollar. So for all your big whales out there, it's time that you start to use my referral link to buy it, to sign up and start to trade over there for all the beautiful things I've been doing every day, again and again on the beach and walking everywhere and talking about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. Now, the chart that I want to talk about is this one. This is the halving cycle chart. 
by the rational route. Um, as you can see on this chart, we had already three halving periods, halving one, halving two, and halving three. The halving, you can see that moment is to totally at the left and then to the right, the rest happens after the halving. Now, just analyze those three periods. Every time when we had the halving on the left side, that line, and if you look then to the right side, you can see the yellow line that went higher after the halving. The red line that went higher after the halving. That orange line went higher after the halving. And they all moved above the realized price of that period. Because you can see these very thin dollar lines, that is the realized price of that halving period. And every time during that bull run, we come high above that line and we stay above that line. So this halving three period is now slowly coming to an end. That is what you see on the right side of the chart. Those other two already came to an end, as you can see, the amount of blocks on the bottom. And this one still has to do a lot of blocks to come to an end in April 2025. The question is now, do you believe that the end price of this halving will be higher as 27,000 US dollar or lower as 27,000 US dollar? If you think that the end in April 2025, at 24, the end of the halving, the price will be higher, just like these previous cycles show you that the price was higher around that halving, around the start of that new halving, then you should be buying Bitcoin now. Look to the top two lines, the yellow and the orange one. If you compare them from this moment to the end, we were at the same or higher price. So buying Bitcoin at this moment can never be wrong. Because from April 2004, we will trade a new line at the beginning of the chart on the left side, where that vertical halving line is, from there a new color line will start. Hopefully this time a green line, a very positive bull run line. And then from that moment again, we will go up in my honest opinion. Because why? All the other bull markets after the halving, you can see it on the chart, we went massively up. Those black dots are every time new all-time highs during those bull runs. We are gonna create a shitload of black dots again after the halving april 2024 and from now to that halving moment you need to buy every bitcoin possible below 30k in my opinion we are going to be around the beautiful level of 40k to 50k around april 2024 so everything that you buy now would then already be times 1.5 or 2 almost that is what i think about the charts bam I hope you really enjoyed the charts guys, uh, which brings us now to the trading tip of today. Always stay with the momentum. The trend is your friend as a trader guys. Yes, when we are in a bull market, shorting the market is a little bit dangerous. And also the opposite guys, when we are in a bear market, catching the falling knife is not the best idea. The trend is your friend. Always trade with that trend guys. That will make you a more profitable trader than if you trade against the market. That was the trading tip of today. Bam! Let's jump into the news part, guys. The news part is something that you hear a lot lately. Everyone is talking about BRICS. The BRICS countries. The BRICS countries. What does that mean? The BRICS countries started somewhere in 2009. And at that moment, it was BRIC. It was Brazil, Russia, India, and China. And then in 2010, South Africa joined them. And then it was BRICS. And now these BRICS countries are even more. There's a complete list somewhere bam, here on the screen where you can see which countries now uh, belong uh, to the BRICS countries. But the important part to understand is that the BRICS countries is everything else except, except of all the Western countries that you think are the most powerful countries in the world. United States of America or Europe they don't belong to the BRICS countries and the strange thing now is that those uh, Western uh, countries of the world still have the arrogance that they are the most powerful nations and that we can do whatever we want and that we can say whatever we want and that we think that we rule the world but we are not ruling the world anymore these BRICS countries are ruling the world and they are taking over and that is of course also helping to destroy the dollar as a world reserve currency because that is not gonna take that long anymore 
before the dollar will fall. Sorry for all my uh, US followers over there, guys, but you know, we need to be honest. The dollar is falling. It's falling hard. And then it's time it's going to be replaced by a more powerful, stable currency. Hopefully it will be Bitcoin in the far future. I think you Americans can agree with me about that. But uh, it will be some new currency probably that's being created by uh, a central bank uh, somewhere on the world. Guys. But these BRICS countries, why I am saying they are so powerful? Because if you look at what they possess as a group of countries, they are in control. For example, collectively, they now have third, almost 31 trillion GDP, gross domestic product, which is really high if you compare that to all the other countries combined. Another example is they now own 80% of all the oil worldwide, which means those BRICS company, countries combined are in control of 80% of the oil worldwide, which is leading to some really strange stuff in the Western countries, but I will come back to that in a minute. They also have 50% or more of the oil, natural gas, coal, wheat, uh, and many other products, as you can see here, guys. They control also that. So they are in control of the oil. They are in control of many food products. I think most huge companies in the world, I think there is a list as well, all the CEOs of, of the Google, Amazon, and all other huge companies, all the CEOs are from India. So. Also, they're getting more and more control. But people really need to understand that, you know, there's no use anymore to listen to what the United States wants to do, wants to say, or which vaccines policy or whatever they are doing, because these BRICS countries are becoming way more important than the Western countries when it comes to economical um, war, in my opinion. Like China is building a massive uh, nuclear power plant in Saudi Arabia. On the other hand, a Chinese a contractor is building now a $2.7 billion airport in Iran and Iran is paying it with crude oil. <laughs> they don't calculate in dollars anymore. China builds an airport, Iran pays with crude oil. And on the other hand, China is building a nuclear power plant somewhere in Saudi Arabia and probably in Saudi Arabia will pay uh, with nuclear power if they are going to use the power for, for example, Bitcoin mining. Because I do think that also when it comes to Bitcoin mining, all these countries are becoming way more important than we think. They are mining a shitload of Bitcoin as well. They believe also um, in the evolution of technology and money. That's also why they are going to start their own BRICS currency. And probably that BRICS currency will become that new world reserve currency that those countries and are in control of the most part of everything I just showed you, will use as an exchange of value. Hopefully they will back it up by Bitcoin, the gold of the 21st century, and then let's see how this will evolve. But one thing is for sure, in the next coming 10 years, a lot of stuff is gonna change. And you just need to make sure that you're on the right side of the metal. Don't get fucked by your governments in those countries that are killing you or making you more poor because of inflation, because of uh, not increasing the wages, because of uh, shrinkflation, because of all that stuff that they do now to give you a fucked up life instead of a happy life, but make sure you grab the opportunity now to disconnect from that system. One of these opportunities is buying a shitload of Bitcoin quadrupling your capital in the next one and a half, two years to 2025, and then becoming a little bit more financial independent so you don't need to worry too much about what your government wants. And you don't depend on a universal basic income that you only will receive, you know, if you do certain stuff in life. Like, for example, a chip, or for example, a vaccination, or for example, whatever the fuck they want to do with you. So make sure you become financial independent so you don't need to depend on the universal basic income that will come with a complete list of requirements that you need to do. The sun is rising, beautiful guys. Check over there. It's coming again, beautiful up. Is the moon still there? Ah, now the moon is gone. I didn't see it disappear, but over there, you can see the beautiful sun coming, guys. Amazing sunrise again here.
el lago es Porgol. As I mentioned, guys, yes, they now are in control of 80% of the oil production now um, worldwide. And I told you I will come back to it later because it's leading to something really strange in the Western countries. And the thing that it's leading to is that the Western countries understand that they are not in control anymore of the oil. So what are they doing? They are forcing you to go electric. Electric! You need to have an electric car, you need to have an electric bike, you need to have electric trains, we need to have the electric buses, we need to have the electric transportation. Everything needs to go electric. And they fool you because they say to you, yeah, it is because of the climate change and we need to uh, do electric and we need to be more green. Even Bitcoin mining needs to be green. Do you now understand where I'm going? It is because they are losing the power of oil and they don't want to depend anymore on the production of oil. So the Western countries don't want to depend anymore on the BRICS countries because they are in control of 80% of the oil and thus they need to come up with something new. And that's something new that was, let's go green, let's go electric. Because then our cars don't need to be oil anymore and all the other transportation doesn't need oil anymore. And we have something green. Let's fool the people. Let's tell them that the cars and the oil is destroying the world. So then we make them green and then they understand that the BRICS countries are not good because they are in possession of 80% of the production capacity of oil, which is really bad for the environment. That's the whole concept. They are again creating fear about something that you shouldn't be fearing. There is no climate change. There is nothing. The cool and the heating periods in our full history has always gone up and down. You need to look at it at the same way I look at Bitcoin. You need to zoom out. Yes, the last 40 years, whoo, we have been heating up. But if you zoom out and look at the bigger time frame, we have not been heating up. We have been cooling down. There were way more warmer periods in the far past than we have now. So it's a bullshit story that the earth is heating up or boiling at the moment. Yeah, if you look at the last 30 years, yeah, but look at the last 500 years or the last thousand years, we have only been cooling down, guys. So, but the whole war is an economical war. And yes, if they are not controlled anymore of oil, they need to come up with a new concept so that they can still control their people and don't need to depend on those new BRIC countries that now have 80% control of the production of oil, guys. That's what I want to educate you about more and more in these videos, because it's not just about Bitcoin. Bitcoin for me is about freedom. And the moment they are going to try to take my freedom away in any kind of way, I need to analyze what is happening to me. And then must not be like a sheep that says, meh, 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 to everything what the government tells me and to everything what the news media tells me. No, I need to do my own research. Just like in Bitcoin trading or buying an altcoin or buying a meme coin or buying an NFT, you need to do your own research. That is how you become successful, not by following the herd, because there is one sheep that jumps into the water. Not all the sheep will follow, in my opinion. At least I am not. I am stopping that for me and also for my family by breaking that cycle. That was the news for today, guys. Happy news, isn't it? <laughs> but let's jump into the next part. Bam. Now that we talked about so many different countries, let's give you a travel tip. When you start traveling or going to travel for a long period, yes, of course, you need to plan ahead. You need to plan some uh, flights. Maybe you need to plan your uh, arrival hotel. You know, if you're with a family or if you're traveling to a country that has peak season, you should plan ahead a little bit so that at arrival, you're not like completely um, tired from all the travel and still need to search a hotel or a hostel with your backpacks and all that stuff. Sometimes it's better to plan ahead. But the thing that is very important is that you always leave room um, for flexibility. Don't plan your schedule too tight. Leave room for flexibility. Leave room for opportunities um, to be there and to grab them. If you're very strictly planned, everything, the hotels and the bus drivers and the taxis and the flights, and there is no room 
to discover beautiful gems because they come on your path. That's, for example, how we almost missed a beautiful gem. When we first started traveling, we went to Bangkok. I planned the whole trip: Bangkok, Chiang Mai with the night train, then uh, the, 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 the golden triangle, then, the, you know, everything was planned. But we always said, yeah, we plan everything ahead, but let's see what happens. And then when we, we arrived in Bangkok with the backpacks, found our hostel, uh, started to drink and have dinners. At that time, it was still popular for, uh, in Bangkok in Khao San Road to have these bars where you could watch movies in the evening and you met all the backpackers. And then uh, during that, uh, the, one of the dinners, these backpackers all told us like, no man, you should go to Kanchanaburi. There's the Erewhon waterfalls, really beautiful. I had never heard about the Erewhon waterfalls. Let's then Kanchanaburi. I know something about the River Cry Bridge, but Erewhon waterfalls, I didn't know that. And then, yeah, we decided, okay, let's, let's go of a plan. Let's just go first to Kanchanaburi. We will go to the Erewhon waterfalls and everything. And then, of course, the River Cry Bridge. And then at the end, I think when it comes to nature, the Erewhon waterfalls was one of the most beautiful waterfalls that we ever saw. It was step by step and it was a beautiful adventure, monkeys attacking us and all that stuff. So always leave room to discover other beautiful gems as well. Don't plan too tight. Plan your flight, plan your arrival, but then uh, keep everything open because that is how you discover the most beautiful things in a country. That was the travel tip of today, BAM. Which also brings me to the end of the video, guys. I hope you again really enjoyed this video. All the information, the charts, the news, the travel tip, the trading tip, um, and everything else, guys. And if you did enjoy the video, then please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What else do you want me to talk about? Is there some certain subjects? Is there certain countries you need advice about? Is there something, things in Bitcoin you want to know? Leave me down below in the comment because this channel needs to be an interactive conversation. It is not only me sharing what I think that you want to hear. I want to share what you want to hear. So let me know down below what you want to hear so I can share that with you guys as well or at least give my opinion on that. Also, always remember to use the links down below these videos. That's how we earn some referral incomes and that's what keeps me alive. I need to eat as well. Help Didi through the winter. <laughs> the bear market, guys. Now, that was everything. Enjoy your day to the fullest. I'm going to enjoy my day to the fullest here with the beautiful sun coming up again. It will be an amazing day again here somewhere on the beach, probably. Uh, chill and have fun. I wish you an amazing day. and see you tomorrow again. Bam.